Episode 50, Salahanthropus. Extreme difficulty. Now, this is the last episode in the series, but perhaps not the last video I'm going to do of this. Um, but I'm, I'm expecting this to be extremely difficult. And apparently the series is ignoring the fact that the kid went to Salanthropus and flew away with it. Got a spike on the RWR. Strange PRF. What's wrong? Control lost. Can't maintain RPM. We're settling. Oh, this is probably a flashback from before. Yeah, I remember all this. Wait. I'm talking about the last episode is the rehash of this. You know what? I think it is. Well, shit a little harder now. Okay. It is a rehash of that. Not good, not good. Oh, there he is. No, I can't aim high enough. Not from this distance. I'll go. Well, I still got those tanks. I know they do quite a bit of damage. Well, I hope I still do. Really tickling him. Jeez. God damn. No, that one isn't very good. I'll keep going this way. Yeah, I know it knows where I am. Oh, what the heck? Didn't even do anything. Let's try this one. While I can. What the heck? No. Not even doing too much damage. Uh oh. I might be in, be in a bit of a pickle. Go, 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 go. I know it's fucking slow as everything, but. Oh, <laughs> crotch shot. So this is going to be, well, again, not the last video, but... Oh, I kind of... I never requested a support helicopter. But thanks. Ah, damn it.
Damn it. It's destroying the support helicopter. This is extreme difficulty, meaning that his health is so difficult to do, to do anything with. Alright. So apparently this is now... Well, not gone, but going. And if I don't leave there, I'm gonna die. God damn. Only two hits? <sighs> this is gonna be the most fucking boring fight ever. It's boring the crap out of me. It only kills me if I stay there and, and that explodes. I got not even a quart, a, th a fifth of his health gone. Oh, there's another tank right there. Oh, shit. Oh, I might be in trouble now. Roll. Oh, fuck, I'm stuck. Oh, no. Hehehe, <laughs> so long, sucker. What the? It's a little trouble called firing too soon, kids. Once you grow old, you will realize exactly what this is. Run! Oh, now I got a quarter of his health now. Like, only took seven minutes. God damn! Ah, there you go. If I don't leave this area now, I'm not going to be able to. By the time I do leave the area. See, this is what I don't get about the game. When this kind of thing comes on, it means that it will destroy, it will start to rust everything, all the gear. Like, that tank is now gone. And it covers everything, everywhere, basically. So there's no way for me to run, no shit, without that thing destroying me. Or getting to me, whatever. Right. So what I'm wondering here is, why doesn't it not destroy him? Is what type of metal is he made of that that won't destroy him? It will destroy it, all my tanks and equipment. Well, not my equipment, only my vehicles. But it won't destroy him. Wow. Alright, now that's gone. Meaning... Okay, yeah, but everything else is destroyed. Which is kind of good, because I couldn't see anything. Come on. There's no place on him. As far as I know. That will... Do it more damage than it should. Let's destroy the helicopter. Fuck it. Anyways, his health isn't a shitter. Isn't gonna last too much long, anyways. Oh, it's gonna shoot. Real gun. He didn't have this thing last time, as far as I remember. I'm pretty sure if one of those things kind of gets me, I'm, I'm dead. What I'm wondering is when do I unlock those things for my D Walker? Oh shit. Oh no. Oh, what the fucking hell? Come on, man. Where is he? Oh, there he is. He's gonna close that get him. Oh fuck, I'm surrounded. 
I am surrounded and I am fucking fucked. Ooh. Alright. He's all messed up anyways. Go. Shut the fuck up. Let's reload this bitch. You know what I could have done better? Instead of bringing this, oh fuck. Instead of bringing this, I could have brought a. Uh, machine gun. This is the left trigger. Oh, and I was pressing right trigger. Okay, I get it. If I drop the flare myself, it will drop it here. The supply drop, hopefully. If I let the game automatically do it, God knows where the flare will be dropped. Shit. Oh, fuck. Alright, this time it didn't 100% encase me like last time. Shit. It nearly killed me. Screw you, dude. Screw you. Oh, fuck. He just hit me with his flaming dick. I'm still on fire. How many more times do I have to do that? Because I, I don't think the goal is to completely destroy, I think the goal is just to damage it enough so that Emmerich can go in and do whatever he's gotta do. This this can't be the final mission, man. I think this is just like the preemptive to the final mission. Don't, don't ask me what's going on, I have no idea. The screen gets just blocked up so many times. Oh, come on. I don't know how far to reload this bitch. Can I destroy that? That's not gonna do too much, is it? No. He's all fucked up, but... Still going. He's got like one little tit of life. Back it up while I shoot. Like this. Put that there. Shit. There. Suck my balls! I forgot I got this gun as well. And it's got plenty of ammo. I think I actually might destroy him before that airdrop comes down. Look at his health. 15 minutes exactly. Well, not exactly, but almost. Close enough.
Yeah, we've seen this before. She attaches herself to him. We've seen this before, so might as well just skip it. I'll leave a link on the description for the previous video where this was shown, so you guys, if you wanna look at this again, if you just joined in the series, then yes. do it. Hey, rank, not bad. All right. Oh, butterfly, great emblem. So, hmm, this is what I gotta start thinking now. What do I do now? Oh, this is an, an important mission now. The man who sold the world escaped the hospital. Okay. Occupation forces. I'll do this one. Yes, no sortie prep. I well, might as well figure out what this is all about. Don't you die on me, damn it! He be dropping! Intubate now! Cardiac arrest is in BFIB! No response. Hit him again. Clear. How's he doing? Well, he's stabilized, but it took too long. He's in a coma. What about him? Yeah, uh, took some shrapnel to the head. Gas is going to mute it. Episode 4 6 Truth to Man Who Sold the World. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip this bit. Mostly because we've seen this in the first episode. Can you hear me? Are you having difficulty speaking? Can you move your head? Just nod if you can hear me. Yes. Been there, done that. 
Look up, please. Do I really have to do this? Yeah, I can't skip it. Very good. Please try to relax. There is plenty of time. I need to tell you something. Please listen and try not to panic. You've been in a coma for quite some time. Yes, yes, I know you would like to know how long. I'm afraid it's been nine years. <coughs> How do you feel? It's been one week since you came too. Now, let's try getting you out of that bed. Nurse. Don't worry. You've lost some strength, but we've been maintaining your muscle mass through massages. CPM therapy and EMS. Now, I need to explain something to you, but you must not be alarmed. Nine years ago, you were injured in an explosion. Upon examination, we discovered 108 foreign bodies embedded within you. In addition to shrapnel, we also found fragments of human bone and human teeth. Most of it was removed, but some of the fragments still remain. They are located near your heart and near your skull. Look at this. The fragments are lodged deep within your cerebral cortex. We couldn't give you an MRI, the metal you see. But even if we were to extract them, you would most likely suffer a brain hemorrhage. Mental and physical impairments are unavoidable. However, your current status is not life-threatening. One more thing. This X-ray is on your upper body. You better look now. Best to understand your situation sooner than later. I know it's difficult, but please look down. It's best to see with your own eyes. Be brave. Seen all this before. Κάποιος ήδη γνωρίζει ότι έχει ξυπνήσει. Για να τρέχει μεγάλο κίνημα, πρέπει να ενεργήσουμε άμεσα. Προετοιμάστε τον για ενοχήρηση. Το πιστεύω. It's true. There are those who wish you would never woken up. You should be dead, but you are not. The wheels are in motion. Your enemies are everywhere. We must alter your appearance immediately. Otherwise, I fear you won't leave this place alive. 
It's a wide open world up there. What the so fuck is happening with camera focus? It's going all over the place. This is you as you've lived until this day. I'm going to change your appearance. We have no other choice. You're okay. It's making me more confused now. Very good. Now let's remove these bandages. Hmm, your face has healed nicely. To tell you the truth, these bandages were more for your protection. To hide you from those who want you dead. As of today, your name is Ahab. Forget everything. Your name, your past. Deja vu. Everything feels all right. So all this time, I was not Big Boss. And I wasn't Snake. They changed my face. And the other guy that helped me to start the game, that was Snake. That was the real Big Boss. I'm an imposter. Do you know what I was thinking? They never actually done the surgery. When they did. Not yet. The patient in the next bed is on my face. Of course. Consider And that's quiet. Flowers that were embedded in there.
Okay, have time to go. What, what, what happened to the woman? The woman? I, we gave her a light. She took the short way down. Who are you? Who am I? You're talking to yourself. Been watching over you for nine years. You can call me Ismael. What the hell is going on? Well, the good news is, here in the land of the living. Bad news? A world wants you to be On your feet, soldier. The whole place is coming down. Need a little pick-me-up? Nothing like a little digoxin to get you back in the game. Come on! I think we all know what will happen after all this. So I'll skip you guys the, uh, you know, the repetition, I suppose. But we are seeing the beginning with different eyes now, so... Days.